I'm Karen Long and I teach 7th grade language arts at Roger O'Bora Middle School in Wilmington, Ohio. class is working on the same mini club as you. While you're in this class, there might not be anyone else using that, that wiki. Today's lesson was about project-based learning um, and it was a lesson on communicating and collaborating on mini clubs, ideas that my seventh graders have about mini clubs that we can do next year, next school year, and how they um, will plan and organize those mini clubs. Share their ideas and get those down on the wiki. Okay. So as soon as you have Moodle open and you have your mini club proposal, I'll know that we're ready to kind of start our day's work when you're gathered over on the floor with me. We looked at communicating with um, their classmates, being able to elaborate and plan in sequential order of ideas, being able to summarize their ideas into a tight summary of what the mini club would be, and then to add details to that summary and so to elaborate on their thinking and to be able to write their thinking in complete sentences and in complete thoughts and then to read other people's ideas and be able to comprehend what those ideas are and be able to elaborate on those, ask critical questions of those ideas and then to come up with next steps and to be able to generate a plan and to generate ideas about other people's ideas and their own. The challenge that we have in this project is to create a plan for an after school mini club that other middle school students would like to join. At the beginning of class, um, after they logged on to Moodle, uh, I asked the students to come up to the front of class and they were clustered around the bulletin board and clustered around the smart board area and I do that for a couple of reasons. I do that one to get them away from the distraction of their netbook. Um, I'm, as a teacher I'm in meetings sometimes or in learning situations and environments and if I have a computer I can be easily distracted by other things and I wanted to get their, them away from those distractions and focused in on the lesson and focused and on what the goals were for Go today. To the dodgeball wiki, which is down towards the bottom because I added it this morning. Go to the dodgeball wiki and this is what you'll find. You'll find the things that we're looking for to know about this mini club to make it really a mini club. So this dodgeball group should be thinking about, okay, how, what's the summary? What are my goals? What are my week activities? Maybe I'm going to put the rules up here. So you open your wiki, and if you want to add to your wiki, I want to edit it, I want to add my ideas to it, I click on edit. And this is where only one person can be editing at a time. Let me show you a wiki that does have some ideas on it. In fact, I know European Handball has a bunch of, act, bunch of things on their wiki. You can look down here and see that Dresden and Taylor have shared their ideas about this mini club. They've got their summary in there, they've got their first week of plans, and now they're working on two and three. They've asked you to add your name here. Please don't delete any information because they want to save everybody's ideas together. Okay, so what they started with, because I suggested that they do this, is that you just, anybody, just copy what's up here and paste it when you get down to editing. You can just paste it in there. And then you have everything that you need to complete for your wiki. Okay, that's the work of today. To reflect and make sure I haven't missed anything, and then to go in and start working and collaborating and communicating your ideas about a club of your interest on a wiki. So students were um, went to looked at the forum from yesterday, their Moodle posts from yesterday, and then they um, read what people wrote about their idea. They read other people's ideas, and then they were asked to look at the bulletin board that we had created in the classroom that posted my reflections, what I read last night. When I was planning my class today, what I read of their ideas. Then they were asked to go um, into Moodle and find a wiki that had been created with their mini club so and go in and think about this specific this mini, cl mini club instead of what are all the possibilities, what am I going to do for this one mini club, what are my ideas for activities, um, for my goals, what's the summary for that club, who's going to be working with me on this club and some of them found work that had already been done
done by students in previous classes today and some of them started the work of that mini club and started to think about activities and so they were asked to begin to plan week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six of that mini club including an icebreaker game that they would play at the beginning to get to know all the pe people, strangers who came across the school grade six, seven, and eight to this mini club. Um, and some students, um, as they did that work, found that they needed to do some research. And on the netbooks, they were able to go right to the internet and find different ideas for their mini club uh, videos, web links, uh, and then share those ideas on their wiki for the next person who would work on that mini club. I think that looked like a lot of fun. I'm not going to flip over my head like that, but I think that looks like a lot I believe of fun. that the use of technology will prepare my students as members of the workforce for tomorrow. It will allow them to communicate with people who aren't necessarily sitting right next to them and collaborate with them and share ideas who are different and who have different ideas from their own. Another thing that I see happens is that technology engages quiet learners who are afraid to participate. And one of my students said as much on her exit slip today and said something about this activity allowed me when I'm afraid to contribute in class and use the word afraid, afraid to raise my hand and add my ideas to class. I can still do that in a quiet way on a Moodle forum and I can get feedback from others and I'm not afraid to participate and share my ideas.